Hi, this is Ken Urban uh, for CSC 125. We're going to talk briefly about how to edit files and compile C++ code on the Linux system. Again, I'm logging on to www.csit.parkland.edu in my PuTTY window. Right, I'm going to put in my username, stick in my password, and then um, we're going to, to start editing a file. Now, the, the important thing to know or, or to understand about C++ programming is that really every project goes in its own directory. So I'm going to um, make a directory called show. This is where I'm going to just put the whole project in to work on. Then I'm going to change into that show directory. So now I'm in here. It's an empty directory. There's nothing in here. So I'm just going to simply use the Pico editor and go into main CPP. Now, rather than just type it out, um, I want to go through the idea of cutting and pasting code into here, because a lot of times you'll have code like on a website or something like that that you want to look at, especially in this online course. So I'm going to pop up here. Here's actually um, the page that has that I'm working on right now that has the, the basic code. And this is just the hello program. I'm going to um, select it using the mouse. Right, and then I'm going to copy it. I use Control C. There might be another way of doing it. Um, and I'm going to minimize this. Now I'm over in here. Um, I can't use Control V to paste in here because Linux doesn't work that way. Um, but I can paste it using the mouse. In order to, to paste it using the mouse, I need to hit both buttons together. Right, that's called the bridge, and it'll insert it at wherever the, the cursor is at. So, right, if I hit both buttons together. I don't know if you can hear the little click there or not. Right then, the, what you've selected gets pasted in there. Right. So inside Putty, right, double click. Uh, well, not not called double click. It's called a bridge. Right. Clicking both of them um, pastes it in. Okay. And and that also works like like locally. Like if I select this line here and then go double click. Right. That's the line that's copied. That that. Clicking both mouse mu mouse buttons together pastes inside Putty. Did I mention that enough time? I think I should mention it again. Both mouse buttons together pastes inside here. Okay, so I've got my code in here somehow. Okay, and then again with this one, this Pico editor, it's got only 10, 12 commands, and they're all sitting right down here. So I can hit Control O. Little carrot means Control O. It's going to give me the name of the same file I edited it with. And then Control X to get out of my editor. And I do my ls, I can see that the file is in here. Now I have some compiling options. Um, this is C++, so the C++ compiler is called G++. G is the GNU part. Um, and then I can just put in main.cpp. No errors were reported. Right? If I do an ls, I see that there's this, this weirdly named a.out file. This is the output from my C program. And I can put dot slash a.out. Right, and there, it's running hello. Uh, depending on how your system is set, you may be able to just type a dot out directly. You may have to put the dot slash in front of it. Um, so it, try, try it either way, whichever way it does that. Um, so the default executable file um, for G++ is called a dot out. Now that default is, I don't know, kind of strange or whatever. If I want to give it a different name, I can put minus O hello. My hello is a good name for a program that just prints the word hello. Now if I type hello, it says hello. Wow, that's exciting. Okay. So the minus O right, is, is called command line option. And um, I usually put it at the end, although I think it can go anywhere in the command line. Now, there are some other pieces, right? Because compiling consists of a, a series of things. The first is creating object code. If I do G++ minus C main.cpp, that minus C option creates this file main.o. This is the object code that was created by main.cpp. Um, you can't edit this because it, it's only it's, it's a binary file, so editing it will either give you junk or, or mess things up or something like that. But um, that's the binary file. And then I can take main.o and compile it into, well, let's just overwrite hello, 
Right? So I can compile either CPP files or object files. Okay? Now, let's take this and add in an object to our um, main.cpp. So I'm going to again, Pico's my editor. Let's edit um, object.h, and I'm just going to quick stick something in there we'll called class my object. Oh, wait, 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 let me put them down here. Um, I don't know. What do I need to put in here? I don't know if I need to put anything in here. And let's put the semicolon at the end. Well, you know what? Let's put a single method in here. Public print. Um, it'll be a void called print. Okay. And that's what I have for my header file. Um, I'm going to save it. Uh, going to exit. And then I'm going to ed edit my source, my CPP file. Okay. And it was a void function. It's from my object. I think I got my caps wrong there. It was called print. And it's going to be C out. Uh, object print with some exclamation points and an end out. And I know that in order to use C out, I need to include IO stream and I need to oops, do my using name space standard. Uh, and hopefully I got all these pieces right. Gonna write it, object CPP, gonna exit. Okay. Um, so let's see if it compiles. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna compile the whole project in one shot rather than doing a piecemeal. So let's just do G main.cpp, ob.cpp, minus O, hello. Oops. <laughs> hello. Uh, notice I don't put the header file. You don't compile header files. Okay? It says my object has not been declared in object.cpp. Okay, I got a whole bunch of issues here. So let's um, first fix uh, ob.cpp. Let's begin it with a capital, like it should. Uh, so, um, you can see that I'm going up and um, pulling up commands pretty quickly. Uh, I'm just hitting the up arrow and the down arrow to go through these commands. So I can hit the up arrow, go back there. Uh, my object has been declared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perhaps we need to include the header file. That will help. Okay. Um, Okay, back up to edit. Classes begin with a capital letter, right? That's what I'm sure I told you many times in class, and I'm not even listening to myself here. Hey, everything compiled. Now, uh, in main, I, I don't use this object, so let's uh, start using this object. So let me include... header file and let me build an object called my object. We'll give it the insightful name of O and we'll do O dot print and hopefully it'll all compile together. Uh, this file needs to be saved. Control O. Um, exit out of here. There we go. We got our object printing. So that's compiling it in one shot. Okay. Now we can also compile it in pieces, right? Because um, I can compile 
just compile, not compile and link, main.cpp. Right, this gives me um, main.o, and I compile um, object.cpp. I see I gave them different names. That's not a good idea. And then that gives me object.o, right, object.o, and main.o. And then I can link them together by doing g++ main.o object.o into hello. And now when I run hello, right, I still get that object print. Um, so those are all the pieces. Um, actually, I, I, since all the project is all in the same directory, sometimes I'll be kind of a lazy typist and do g++ star cpp like that. This says do g++ on all the files that end in cpp, which would be here, yeah, this one and this one. This assumes I don't have any other files laying around in here and call it a.out. So that's kind of a short way of doing it. Okay. Um, thank you.